A Bennington High School student is in custody tonight after he allegedly brought a gun to school Tuesday morning. Well, law enforcement got a tip the next morning, and that's when they made the arrest. KETV Newswatch 7's Josh Cristianto has more on what happened. Josh. Yeah, the Douglas County Sheriff tells me this all happened at the Bennington High parking lot before school started. He's praising witnesses and the state's Safe to Help tip line for helping to resolve the incident quickly. An incident involving a loaded handgun at Bennington High School Tuesday morning leaves parents looking for answers. It was pointing in the direction of people, but it, uh, the information we have is it wasn't pointed at a specific individual. He didn't make any threats towards any individual or any specific threats towards the school. Bennington Public Schools says the suspect, who is younger than 16, never took the weapon inside the school, but the district and the Douglas County Sheriff's Office only learned of this until tips came into the state's safe to help system the next morning. This tip line was excellent. Uh, we although we received the tip a day later, uh, the fact that a student had the courage to call it in helped us resolve this very quickly. The teenager involved was arrested and booked on weapons and terroristic threats charges at the County Youth Center. Deputies found the handgun at his home. That's where they believe he got it. Some parents and students tell us they're upset because they didn't know about any of this until the principal sent an email Wednesday night. The district says it waited until after the investigation was complete to inform everyone. You don't have to look very far across the country. We've seen so many of these incidents end in tragedy and we, we take them all very seriously. Whether or not this particular student had any intentions, it's, we have zero tolerance for that. The sheriff's office encourages parents to look into the Safe to Help tip line Talk to your children about it, and if they see something, they should say something. Report it. We'll investigate it. If it's nothing, it's nothing. But again, it gives us an opportunity to address the situation before it gets any more dangerous. You can download the Safe to Help app on Google and Apple devices. Remember, you can remain anonymous. As for the Bennington incident, no word yet on a motive. No one was hurt. Julie. So glad that's the case. Thank you, Josh.